Hello everyone, this is uh, Sheba Joy and uh, it is 5 minute word power today. Uh, today I want to talk uh, something different that the Lord has put on my heart and, uh, and also it has been confirmed you know in the Bible when I was reading it that in Philippians 2 10 and 11 it says that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father uh, I was you know in my spirit today I felt that you know, God is going to raise a movement, a movement, a radical movement, a movement which doesn't uh, doesn't belong to any caste, creed, or uh, re or any religion, or any black, white, yellow skin color, or any uh, religion that of like Christianity or Hinduism or Jainism, Sikh Islam, Buddhism, all those things, or any particular region which is uh, you know anywhere in the world like africa america uh india indonesia you know all those and china soviet union russia all those places it doesn't belong to anyone it doesn't belong to any uh, uh, uh people at all but god is going to raise a revolutionary movement and what that is is he's going to raise people from all nations from all castes from all people from all uh, from all colors because and he's going to raise people to give an apostolic uh, uh decree and uh, and that is that every knee shall bow before God every tongue will confess not just on earth but in heaven and also under the earth which is hell so everyone everyone who has been created so far till now and here who will be created in future they will all or who will be born in future or those who have passed away they will all say good bad young old wicked good, uh, holy all those people will say that Jesus is God they will bow before him and say that God that Jesus is God because he's going to raise a movement which is um, revolutionary no other movement has been raised like this even by Karl Marx or Karl Marx or uh, uh, Adolf Hitler or uh, or any other great leaders of the countries you know uh, or Mahatma Gandhi or anyone for that matter but God is going to raise a generation he's going to raise people who is who are who are going to be very prophetic in their calling and again that is not going to belong to any one organization or a singular ministry or uh, a, a people which are uh, uh, belonging to one denomination for example Methodists or uh, Mennonite or uh, Lutheran Wesley Baptist no none of that none of that is going to matter before God he is going to look at people who are passionate for him he is going to look at people who are uh, worthy of his calling he is going to look at people who have a zeal uh, for heaven he is going to look at people who who knows who knows Jesus personally as the Lord and Savior he is going to look at people who have tasted the heaven he is going to look at people who know that Jesus ha that they have every answer to who God is so he's going to raise up people like that he's going to propel people into the world like that he's going to make people uh, shine like a star like stars and you know uh, and brilliance you know and brilliance will be coming out from their mouths and their minds so God is going to raise us up and I feel that very strong in my spirit because uh, um, he has put this in my spirit and uh, and um, even when I sleep uh, sometimes like 
just having a nap or something like that uh, i just see the glory of god i see him in in full glory like he is ready to be birthed into uh, the earth again i see that he's ready to come down i see that he is he's ready to declare his glory i see that he is on the on on the brim on the verge of like uh, exploring his glory on the earth and on the people uh, so uh, you know i just want to encourage everyone to be uh, in prayer uh, seeking god uh, uh, and uh, uh, tuning your minds you know tuning your and uh, and also t- taking like everything uh, uh, how should i say that it's um it's something that you that it's something that we have to uh like be aware uh of his presence all the time you know yes lots of uh mishappenings are happening lots of bad things are happening but in all that god will shine through the glory through his glory god will shine and cut every every infirmity every destructive nature of mm-hmm. satan every uh, demonic altars that have been raised against his people he is going to put his sword out there and cut everything which is uh, which is not godly so um god is passionate folks god is really passionate to to reveal himself and and we are created in his image and and we need to be passionate to reveal his glory on this earth in our lives uh, among all people may the lord bless this word thank you